Hello, my name is Kevin Zomchuk and today I'd like to talk to you about IO-Link. So we have a number of products here that support the IO-Link uh, communication. We have the 42JT and the 42EF photo eye sensors as well as some of our proximity sensors. The value of IO-Link, uh, one of the many values is that if, if you did not have IO-Link, you just disconnect the sensor, there would be no indication that the sensor was detached from the system or had malfunction. But with an IO-Link capable sensor, you're able to, if the, something happens to the sensor and it no longer functions, it would notify the architecture or your controller through an HMI that the sensor is no longer functioning correctly. There are, on the proximity sensors for example, we also have a margin that, so that if the product, the target that you're trying to monitor is starting to drift away from the edge of the, of the sensor itself, we would give you an indication that your process is changing and that's also fed up into the PLC. We also have the ability to monitor if the head of the proximity sensor were to be shaved off or damaged. That is, would also be sent up as an event up into the HMI. So it's, IO-Link gives you the benefit of getting a lot more diagnostic information into the controller. So another benefit of IO-Link is that we also have the ability to store the configuration of the sensors within the controller. So we call that automatic device configuration. So if you have a number of sensors installed on your machine, if one of them were to fail sometime while it's being uh, at the end user, you can go ahead and detach that sensor, plug in a brand new one out of the box, and the controller would immediately detect that and then reprogram that sensor with the previous configuration. So the machine would be immediately up and running again. You wouldn't have to reteach the sensor. Uh, a last benefit is that you're also able to store multiple configurations within the controller. So we have products like a laser measurement sensor. We also have a color registration mark sensor. So if you had a process where you had to do tool changes, uh, what we can do is also store within the controller and through an HMI screen you can hit a button and it would download the configuration of the, the new product that you're trying to detect. If it's a color registration mark, maybe it's a different package going from a Snickers bar to a Hershey's bar. You would go ahead and you, you would immediately be able to send that configuration down. So you have a lot more uptime and your tool changes could be done in a matter of minutes rather than a matter of hours if you did not have IO-Link because you'd have to go in and reprogram each sensor. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any other questions, please see our website at ab.com.